House Republican Conference Chairwoman Elise Stefanik called Monday for Congress to sanction the International Criminal Court following an announcement from prosecutors there Monday morning that they would seek an arrest warrant against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In a quote provided exclusively to the Post, Stefanik said that the ICC is a, quote, illegitimate court that equivocates a peaceful nation protecting its right to exist with radical terror groups that commit genocide. She also said that Congress should pass a bill that she introduced earlier this month with Representative Chip Roy, calling for sanctions on the ICC prosecutors, other employees, and even family members. Those sanctions would include revoking visas for all of those people should they continue to investigate or prosecute the U.S. or its allies. ICC Chief Prosecutor Kareem Khan announced that he would file the applications for warrants against Netanyahu as well as his defense minister, Yoav Gallant, for allegedly committing crimes against humanity during the more than seven months war between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Members of both parties slammed the announcement, including South Bronx Representative Rep. Richie Torres, who said that the decision to seek arrest warrants is not law, but politics, and that Israel, as well as the U.S., does not officially recognize the ICC's authority, giving it no jurisdiction over the arrest warrants. The ICC announcement also included Hamas leadership, such as the leader of Hamas, Yahya Sinwar, the leader of the Al Qasim Brigades, its military wing, Mohammed Diab Ibrahim Al Mazri, and the Hamas political bureau chief, Ismail Haniyeh. All three of the Hamas leaders included in the announcement were accused of committing crimes against humanity as well in Israel and the Gaza Strip since the war started, including their taking of hostages after the invasion on October 7th, rape, other acts of sexual violence, and the murder and extermination of Jewish and American civilians.